Okay, seven one to seven three quiz review. The height of an object is twenty three feet and the length is sixty nine feet. What is the ratio of the height to length? So the first that's given is the height. So you need to write the height first. So the height is twenty three feet and the length is sixty nine feet. These are both in the same unit, so we don't need to do any unit conversions, but we do need to reduce. So I can divide both of these by 23 to get 1 to 3, because I divide both by 23. So 1 to 3, you can also write the ratio as a fraction, like this. Or you could write 1, 2, 3. All three of these are correct. Number 2, solve for x. So you're going to use the cross product property. So x times x is x squared equals 50. Then you want to take the square root of both sides. So x equals plus or minus, because remember two numbers, the positive and the negative when you square it, you can get 50. The square root of 50. So the square root of 50 you can break down further. So 50 is 10 times 5, 5 times 2, and then I'm going to circle the 5's because there's two of them. Or I circle all the primes, and I write all of them underneath the square root. So 5 times 5 times 2. Because it's the square root, when there's two of them, you can pull one of them out. So it's going to be 5 root 2, plus or minus, is the answer. And we're going to simplify more with, with square roots later. Okay, letter B. You're going to use the cross product property again. So I'm going to circle the diagonals and write 80, because 8 times 10 is 80, equals 7 times the quantity x plus 3. So when there are two terms like this, you need to be careful and write this in parentheses. So it's 80 equals 7x plus 21. 7x equals 59, because 80 minus 21 is 59, and then divide both sides by 7. So x equals 59 divided by 7. And that does not reduce at all. Letter C, you circle the diagonals again and do the cross product property. So 24 equals 5x, divide both sides by 5, x equals 24 fifths, and it does not reduce. So number three, are the triangles similar? So there's three ways that we can test to see if a triangle is similar. Angle, angle. So if two angles are congruent to two angles of the other triangle. Side, angle, side. If the two sides are in proportion and the angle between them is congruent to the other triangle, then the triangles are similar. And the last one is side, side, side. If all three sides of a triangle are proportional to the other three sides. So for letter A, I can see that there's going to be vertical angles right here. So it's almost side angle side, but I don't have this side length to test to see if these are proportional. So, but I do have parallel lines right here. So parallel lines gives me alternate interior angles that are congruent. So because of that, I have, by angle, angle, I can write that the two triangles are similar. If they are, find the similarity ratio. So the similarity ratio is, take the second figure, I'll let this one be the second figure, and divide it by the first figure, the corresponding side. So this one you have to be careful about the corresponding side. So I'm going to take between the red angle and the black angle is 8, and between the red angle and black angle over here is 5. So I'm going to divide 8 by 5. So it's 8 fifths. Or you can write it as a decimal, which is 1.6. This is a similarity ratio. I would also accept if you wrote 5 to 8. So this is the scale factor. This is a similarity ratio.
Okay, now let's check letter B. So I don't see any angles, there's no vertical angles, there's no parallel lines. So I'm not going to use angle, angle, or side, angle, side. So there are three sides that I'm given. So what I do is I write the side lengths from, on the first triangle, from least to greatest. 7, 7, 10. Then I write the side lengths from least to greatest on the other triangle. 8, 8, 11. If all of these fractions are congruent, then the triangles are in proportion and they're similar. But 7 eighths is not equal to 10 elevenths as a decimal or as a fraction, so no, these triangles are not similar. Number four, a meter stick, a meter stick, so one meter, gives off a shadow of two meters. A building has a shadow of 120 meters. How tall is the building? So it's going to be X. These are similar triangles because the sun is, is coming in at the same angle. So these angles are the same, and it's going to be a right triangle. So I can set up a proportion that 1 is to 2. So 1 is to 2 as X is to 120. So when I solve for x, x equals 60, don't forget your units, meters. And then number five, a scale on a map is 2 inches is 70 kilometers. So 2 inches is 70 kilometers. Find the distance between two cities, so find the kilometers, when the map is 1.5 inches. So write 1.5 inches on the top because... These two have to be the same units on the top. And then I'm going to write x kilometers. So again, you cross multiply. So 2x equals 70 times 1.5. So that is going to be 105. And then you divide both sides by 2. So x equals 52.5 kilometers. Okay, number six. Are the polygons similar? So if polygons are similar, angles have to be congruent and corresponding sides have to be in proportional or are proportional. So if I'm looking at the first two rectangles. They all have 90 degrees, so the angles are good. Now I'm going to check to see if the sides are in proportion. So what I do on this first rectangle right here, this one's first one, this one's second one, is I write them the sides out from least to greatest, so 4 and 8. Then on the second rectangle I do the same thing, 6 and 10. So when I do reduce these fractions, I get two-thirds and four-fifths. Two-thirds is not equal to four-fifths, so these rectangles are not proportional. The sides are not in proportion, so no, they're not similar. Now I check um, the triangles. So if I look at the triangles... Um, this one only has two angles, but I can fill in the other angle as 30 degrees. This one is a 50, 30. I can fill in the other angle. It's 100 degrees. So yes, they are in proportion because by angle, angle. So to find the similarity ratio, oh, I keep doing the scale factor. So to find the similarity ratio, what I do is it's the first figure, we let this be the first figure and this be the second figure. So I'm going to take the two of them that correspond. So here is 150, here is 150. So I'm going to write this side length first, which is 14, and this side length second, which is 20. And then I'm going to reduce it. So it reduces to 7 tenths. If I were to use these two, I would get the same answer. 
22.4 to 30. Oops, 32. Now it has a decimal, so I'm going to clear the decimal by multiplying by 10, both of them. So it's 224 to 320. And I can reduce this to 7 to 10. Okay, number 7. The triangles are similar. Solve for x. Actually, this one doesn't even have an x on it, so I'm not going to do that. But the triangles are similar. So I'm going to set up a proportion. So 10 is to 24 as x is to 8. So 80 equals 24x x equals 80 divided by 24 is 3 and a third. And there's no unit, so I'm just going to leave it as 3 and a third. And then the last one, the height of a scale model is 6 inches. The height of the actual object is 12 feet. Find the ratio of the scale model to the actual object. So I'm going to write the scale model first, because that's what tells me the direction, 6 inches. This one's 12 feet. In order to write this ratio, I need to make sure the units are the same. So I'm going to multiply this by 12 because that's going to give me inches. So it's 6 inches is to 144 inches. And then I'm going to reduce both of them because I can divide both of them by 6. So it's 1 to 24 is the ratio.